Hello and welcome to another TA Tech Tip. In this tech tip, we'll discuss the linear viscoelastic region and setting a strain value. The goal of this tech tip will be to demonstrate how to recognize the end of the linear viscoelastic region so that quality data can be generated within the linear region. The viscoelastic properties of samples measured using a rheometer or DMA should be measured within the linear region for measurements such as a frequency sweep or temperature ramp. The viscoelastic properties, such as storage modulus, loss modulus, and tan delta, are independent of strain within the linear region. At the end of the linear region, the critical strain, these properties become strain dependent. The linear viscoelastic region can be determined for a material using an oscillation amplitude sweep on the rheometer, or an oscillation strain sweep on the DMA850. The material should be stable at the measurement temperature and the sample should be allowed a short time to equilibrate if not at ambient conditions. The linear region often increases with temperature and decreases with frequency, particularly for polymer-like systems. It is advised that the linear region be determined near the lowest temperature and highest frequency that the material will be tested at. This will help ensure that the measurement is conducted within the linear region for all data in a temperature ramp or a frequency sweep. There are no consequences to setting the strain too low besides generating some noisy data and the experiment taking a little longer. If quality data cannot be generated within the linear region, a different geometry or clamp should be considered. The data from the sweep should be plotted with the storage modulus versus strain, stress, or amplitude. Other viscoelastic properties, such as the loss modulus or tan delta, will change with increasing deformation. But the storage modulus is very sensitive to the change in structure and predictably drops. One typical definition for the critical strain is the point at which the storage modulus drops by 5% from the plateau value. Strain or amplitude should be selected at a point in the plateau where the data is not noisy and the point display shows smooth and sinusoidal curves. Setting the strain too low may result in noisy data. If the sweep was run at the highest frequency and the lowest temperature, then the strain selected can typically be used for any higher temperature or lower frequency without exceeding the linear region. In this tech tip, we discuss the linear viscoelastic region and generating quality data within that linear region. Please stay tuned for more helpful tips from TA Instruments, and thank you for your interest.